Dinosaurs killed by asteroids about 65 million years ago are about to return. Imagine the characters in the movie Jurassic Park walking in front of our house. It may be strange and scary but this fictional story is going to come true. All the preparations for the implementation of this project have already started. In 1996, a sheep named Dolly was artificially created by artificial cloning. Artificial cloning is the process of artificially creating another organism using the DNA of an organism. The same process can be used to create dinosaurs. But no DNA samples of dinosaurs have been found so far. In 1980, a team of researchers led by John Catch, a researcher at Montana State University Bozeman in the United States, launched an extinct DNA research program to find DNA samples of dinosaurs. Mosquito-like insects that once lived in the during the period of the dinosaurs, got into the tree after being bitten the dinosaurs and got stuck in the tree rising, and the body of this insect will be safely inside without any damage for a long time. This is called fossilized amber. John Catch thought that if fossilized amber was examined, DNA samples of the dinosaur would be found inside the insects. Michael Crichton wrote the book Jurassic Park in 1990 based on this hypothesis. After examining the millions of insects that were finally discovered, John Catch realized that it was just stupid. So that project ended. Dot. But scientists are still working on to find DNA samples of dinosaurs. For about 15 years, researchers at Mary Schweizer's DNA samples in dinosaur bones found some cells, blood cells, and proteins in dinosaur bones. However, a team of researchers in Manchester has discovered a protein called collagen from the bones of dinosaurs of the genus Tyrannosaurus. This collagen protein was very similar to the collagen protein found in modern ostriches. However, scientists have realized that dinosaurs cannot be brought back on the basis of these discoveries. So the scientists gave up trying to bring the dinosaur back. Thus, the genetic material of endangered species will be completely extinct in 60 million years. Dinosaurs became extinct about 65 million years ago, so the search for dinosaur DNA samples is waste. But none of these problems affected the scientists for long. Researcher Jack Horner came up with a completely different idea to bring back the dinosaurs. That is, a project to develop a dinosaur gene hidden in a chicken and create a dinosaur out of it. The ancestors of crocodiles and birds belong to the genus Tylosaurs. The dinosaurs Tyrannosaurs rex and Velociraptor belong to the genus Theropods and are also present in the chicken genes of these dinosaurs. Project to develop genetic engineering Velociraptor dinosaur. There are three main processes in this. Firstly the design of the long tails. And secondly the design of the teeth. And thirdly the design of the short arms instead of the wings. Everyone, including the scientific community, laughed when they heard this. But in 2015, researchers Arkad Abzanov and Bharat Anjan Buller created a dinosaur, faced chicken from a chicken egg. This was done by injecting certain chemicals into the chicken eggs. Similarly, scientist Matthew Harris developed a baby chicken with teeth. In 2016, the scientific community again developed a dinosaur-legged chicken. So scientists have found a way to develop all the body parts of a dinosaur but have not yet found a way to develop tail. Many experiments have been done on this but none have been successful so far, but none of the research has been completed yet to return dinosaurs. Scientists are in the last stage of their project called Chickenosaurus. Although gene editing has a lot of problems now, and also lots of problems facing for the dinosaurs return in the future. Hope you enjoyed the video so if you want to know what happens when dinosaurs come back in future then just leave a comment.